it looks like everyone showed up ready to work, okay? We're gonna do a little bit of some boring things here, but super, super important. I'm seeing, I only saw a handful of guys really, really in good position when you're tying up, okay? And it's critical, it's critical when you're wrestling that your legs are protected, okay? So we're just gonna start off with something super easy, just learning how to stop some shots when we're in the tie. And then we'll go to our down block and our good winning position on our flies. Um, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna concentrate on our lead leg forward, keeping our lead leg forward if we have hands on, and learning how to use our head and our stance to block people off, okay? The goal is we wanna be able to build position. We wanna build position, meaning Get to where you like to drill your number one, number two shots and be able to wrestle from there without a guy being over to attack your legs. Does that make sense? Okay, so uh, Cooper, can I use you? We'll just hit two or three positions here. I like to wrestle, and, then, and if you, it's easy to zone out, but really listen to this. I like to drill and I like to wrestle where I can hit three or four of my best moves and no one has a chance of grabbing my legs. For me, it's an upside down wrist. And the reason why I go upside down is it puts my arm on the inside of this arm, okay? So upside down wrist and I get wrist over up by his armpit with my forehead in the pocket. My forearm in the pocket here. Right here, for me anyways, I can shoot my high crotch. I can fake my high crotch, go arm drag. I can pull him and go single. I can go to my snap down. I can hit my underhook. I can hit everything I like to hit and it's hard for him to shoot on me. And I want you to feel how easy it is to stop someone. So all I'm gonna ask him to do, he's not even gonna try to grab my legs. He's just gonna go knee over toe as hard as he can. He didn't even have to step. He's gonna go knee over toe and try to move me backwards. And I'm gonna feel him with my head. And I'm keeping, keeping my lead leg forward. Okay, watch just my feet here. I keep a gap between my feet. He goes knee over toe. You can do it harder. Boom. I'm staying where I can re-attack. I'm blocking with my head. My head is on him. This arm, a lot of you are gonna grab that wrist and hold that arm way out here. I want it close to his legs and close to my legs. Upside down wrist, wrist over, head in here. He takes a shot, boom. I'm ready to re-attack when he comes up, okay? This isn't talked about enough in wrestling, whether you're in the open or tied up, okay, in the tie up. We have to be able to protect our legs and build. We want to put as much pressure and try to score as many points as we can, but safely. Any questions on this? So this wrist, everyone see this wrist here? See how I got it grabbed? It is not out here. It's nice and loose in front of my leg. My head's on him. My feet are separated. I'm ready where I can shoot. I'll let him take three shots on me. Go ahead. I'll float it, float it, I'll float it. Trying to stay in position. This is where you young kids, in my opinion, have the hardest time learning. These small, boring things. So really concentrate. Chest and knee connected. Chest and knee connected. Good stance, good shooting stance. Go ahead and just start in there. Have him take three hard shots. You stop it. Where's our head gotta be? In the pocket, touching him. Are we good? And I don't care how many state titles some of you have won or how good you are. No one's too good for this. So really, really, you can make it your own, okay? But let's work on this position. Are we good? Okay, we're going in five seconds. One, two, three. Five. 